Successful offensive of Russian units towards Lugansk within five days has resulted in the liberation of Loskutovka, Odlesnoe, Mirnaya Dolina, Shepkarye, Brubovka, Nirkova, Nikolaevka, Nova Ivanovka, Ustinovka and Rai Alexandrovka. Group of Ukrainian units has been completely isolated near Gorskoe and Zolotoe. This pocket has encircled four battalions. 3rd Mechanized Battalion of 24th Mechanized Brigade, 15th Mountain Assault Battalion of 128th Mountain Assault Brigade, 42nd Mechanized Infantry Battalion of 57th Mechanized Infantry Brigade, 70th Battalion of 101st Territorial Defense Brigade, as well as an artillery group of 57th Mechanized Infantry Brigade, a group of Nazis from right sector organization and detachment of foreign mercenaries. In total, the Gorsko pocket has isolated up to 2,000 people, about 1,800 servicemen, 120 Nazis from right sector, up to 80 foreign mercenaries, as well as over 40 armored combat vehicles and about 80 guns and motors. 41 servicemen abandoned their resistance and surrendered voluntarily just over the past 24 hours. According to the prisoners, the encircled Ukrainian units are exhausted. The units are currently manned by less than 40%. Higher Ukrainian command has lost control over these units. Armaments, munitions, fuel and other logistic supply is completely stopped. Russian troops are straightening the Gorska encirclement by launching uninterrupted attacks at the enemy. Half of Zolotoya had been taken under control over yesterday. The enemy suffers considerable losses in other directions too. High-precision attacks of Russian aerospace forces at three bases of foreign mercenaries in Nikolaev, Galitsyno, Nikolaev region and Oleshki, Kharkov region have resulted in the elimination of more than 200 soldiers of fortune and up to 100 Ukrainian nationalists. Desertion and refusals to be involved in operations are becoming widespread in the armed forces of Ukraine. Over 30 Ukrainian servicemen from one of the battalions of 25th Airborne Brigade have abandoned their positions and individual weapons near Alexandropol, the Netsk People's Republic. In order to replenish the losses in manpower, Ukrainian command are forced to form separate rifle battalions formed by untrained, mobilized citizens in each region towards Donetsk and Lugansk. The armed forces of the Russian Federation continue the special military operation in Ukraine. Operational tactical and dummy aviation, missile troops and artillery have neutralized Ukrainian manpower and military equipment at 367 areas. Five depots of munitions, missiles, artillery armament and logistic supplies near Privolia, Lugansk People's Republic and Nikolaev, as well as artillery and motor units in 62 areas, including an artillery battery of M777 howitzers near Oleshki, Kharkov Region. Bastion Coastal Missile System has launched an attack at the firing position of S-300 Air Defense Missile System near Odessa. The target has been eliminated. Attacks launched by aviation, missile troops and artillery have resulted in the elimination of more than 620 nationalists, 19 tanks and other armored combat vehicles, as well as 17 special vehicles. Russian air defense means have destroyed two Su-25 airplanes near Dolginka, Kharkov region and Visakopolia, Nikolaev region. Five Ukrainian unmanned aerial vehicles have been shot down near Popasne and Kapitanova, Lugansk People's Republic, Verbovka, Donetskoe, Kharkov region, as well as five .u tactical missiles near Stakhanov, Lugansk and Izum. In total, 213 airplanes and 132 helicopters, 1,334 unmanned aerial vehicles, 350 anti-aircraft missile systems, 3,769 tanks and other armored combat vehicles, 659 combat vehicles equipped with multiple rocket launching systems, 3,002 field artillery cannons and motors, as well as 3,835 units of special military equipment have been destroyed during the special military operation.